Yeah. All right, now we're live. Welcome back, guys. We are back at it again. Welcome back to our Thursday Night Live. If you guys haven't yet, please join our Discord. Our Discord is where everything is at. We're going to we have all the information you have in there. We have uh, side hustles to mental health to just memes, uh, game bets. Everything's on Discord, so join our Discord, guys. And um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about important things like how Peter's newborn is doing. How, how is your newborn doing, man? Uh, you know, when it comes to family, I like to keep that private. But because you asked, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll answer that question. Uh, you know, you know I, I, I thought about this the other day, you know, that like um, it's, it's extremely exhausting. It is extremely high anxiety uh environment with just having one kid and you know but i have four um i can imagine it's, man. it's taken so much of my time uh, uh it's exhausted me um uh, you know it, it's it's a financial um uh, responsibility um but but it's it's one of the most rewarding thing i've done uh being a parent you know so so if you're thinking about doing it you know definitely you know, commit to it um, because it's a lifelong thing. You know, this 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 draining, uh, this exhaustion, this you know, um, financial. You quit, yeah, it's it's for the rest of your fucking life, and and so I understand. Yeah, well, at least the, yeah, at least until they're eighteen, right? No, 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 no. It's, it's for better. the rest of your life, dude. <laughs> it's it's literally <laughs> it's for the rest of their life because they're gonna come back to you. And they're gonna uh, say shit, and they're always gonna because they're always gonna look to you right for yeah. uh for guidance and then um you know as yeah. a parent um especially when you're focused about legacy you know you, you're you're always going to want to guide them in their, into their you know adulthood into their manhood or, or womanhood and um you're you're going to want to kind of be the coach you know when they have their own family and um when they start you know having their own kids right then you kind of want to you know give the give wisdom to them as well and then they're gonna so so it's a lifelong commitment is what I'm saying, and so I know that it's it's rewarding so far. Um, but that's that's how it's been, man. man. That's how it's yeah, been. that's yeah, man. That's um, it's being a dad, man. Being a father. I mean, I'm I'm not in that shoes yet, but I mean, I can imagine how much you have to sacrifice to, for yeah. them. You know, it's, it's your financial, saying. your time, your energy. What do you what do you do when you do have time for yourself, man? Uh, I just I just beat off and play games, dude. That's that's it, man. <laughs> Damn, that sounds like a but life. it's it's like real quick, you know. what I'm saying it's just like, uh, oh, I wash my hands, gotta clean, gotta clean up, and then and then when I do get to play games, like thirty minutes, and oh yeah, man, it's just it's just it's just your your whole life change, you know? yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh, especially especially when they're young too. You know, because you always got to keep an eye on them, make sure they're not, you know, doing anything they're not supposed to, and and you're 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 constantly uh, nurturing them, uh, or I guess nurturing them, or, or or getting them building their habits, you know, because if they're just on their tablet, you know, for so long and not doing any other activity, so it's it's just you know, you you don't have time for yourself as much, you know. So, do they ever crave for the tablet over you, or they like just like? Oh yeah, dude, 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 man, I don't exist, dude. Once they on the their devices, man, their dad, their daddy don't exist, man. Do you think? Okay, do you think that's the um, easier way to settle your kids? Oh, to, what? you know, just give them, give them a tablet. Hey, here's a tablet, and do it. Most times, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real honest, man. <laughs> most times, dude, that's the babysitter, dude. <laughs> do Do you think? Do you think that's gonna like? You know, be a big impact in the future for them. Oh, oh yeah, it is gonna fuck them up, dude. <laughs> They're not on the tablets to better themselves, dude. They're just consuming junk, you know. So, yeah. so, so, so that's the thing, right? Is that I, I monitor those things. I'm, I mean, well, I, I try anyways. And then um, just making sure that they're learning their ABCs, their numbers. Okay, so you're, they're stuff. learning educational stuff. Eh, you know, for the most part, I, I would say it's like fifty fifty, because like my my son mm-hmm. plays games now too, and. Then, my daughter plays games with him sometimes, um, but they're on YouTube as as well sometimes, and 
And if, if they're not, if not, if they're not watching the educational stuff, then they're at least watching, you know, not junk ish, you know, like behavioral yeah. things and stuff like that. So I know, I know the VR is kind of ahead of our time ish in, in, in a way. I mean, I know a lot of kids are on VR. You know, I'm sure there's a community behind it. But do you think that they're gonna be more isolated in in the future, and like in like you know, ten years from now when they're teenagers, do you think they they're gonna be more isolated? It depends on the parenting, man. I I I hundred percent believe that the parenting you laid the groundwork for them to, you know, know that family is important. Family time, you incorporate family family time into, you know, their daily living. You know, um, so when they so do, when it, yeah, go ahead. Whenever you have dinner, right? Do you not have them have tablets at all? And do you guys have like a like a regular dinner? Everyone's on the table eating only no tablets, kind of thing. Sometimes it's not consistent. I, that, that's something that I need to work on is is um, technology. I mean, because like I, I'm on it all the time too, so I'm I'm guilty of it. And and, and that's, that's where that's where they're picking up their habits is just their mom and dad is on the phone all the time. And, you know, the other day my son said when I was driving him to school, he was like, "Daddy, you got to take a break." I'm like, "What?" Because <laughs> like I play games hella late, you know, when everybody's sleeping. Yeah. He's like, yeah, "You got to take yeah. a break and go to sleep." I'm like. You're right. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. This five year old, this five year old correcting me, man. I'm just like, you're right, man. You're right. You ain't wrong. Uh, <laughs> I was like, man, dude. In my, my, I'm in my head. I'm like, man. I pay for everything, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, but yeah, 100. percent He's right. Um, you know, you know, uh, there's sometimes that you know when when parents grow up, they have a certain ego of like being right all the time oh yeah. yeah um do you think you know when it comes down to i'm not saying you know in, in the in the future let's just say that your kids start to you know argue back with you about them being right and they're teenagers how would you how do you think you're gonna like work that out do they they talk back now man you know um yeah. okay. so so i think it's it's a it's a matter of just working on a communication you know just like yeah just like in your relationship with the uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, or, or marriage, right? It's that uh, communication piece of why you need to do this, and you know, and 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 from parent to child, right? It's just, you know, you have to wake up and go to school, and they start asking why and shit, and you just, I don't know, it's that communication piece, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. Because because they they are gonna get more smarter, more intelligent, and they're gonna start thinking for themselves, and they're gonna start asking these questions that you may or may not have the answer to and you know and that's when you turn to chat gpt dude <laughs> ask, yeah, the, yeah. ask uh, the ai don't ask me son <laughs> or or you know th- th- these are these these are going to be you know i look forward to those days because those are going to be like opportunities to just kind of you know share share uh i guess way of thinking you know yeah do you, do you think your kids now are they they lean towards you as a cool dad now versus like oh do I want to go to mommy or do I want to go to daddy kind of thing? I think they have um, I think they had their fun with me, um, but they know that I'm also like the, the disciplined person, so they don't ask when they want something. They don't ask me. Uh, they okay. go to their they go to their mom. And... Interesting. I think I think that's how it usually is on most um, yeah. families. Yeah, is the, the mother is more. Um, love loving and, and and less discipline um yeah because yeah when I, when I was a kid i always go to my mother um and ask my mother if she can ask my dad you know yeah. to do things or sleep at somebody's house or something like that <laughs> yeah. yeah well 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 the well typically the 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 wife isn't really all that intimidating you know so yeah they're more nurturing and, and loving for sure um, you know, it's 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 just in the nature too. It's not just like oh, they're they want to be that way, or it's just more uh, of in their nature. So, uh, yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, that's cool, man. I can't wait to have kids someday. Uh, right now, I'm enjoying my single life. I'm saving up money, um, and I don't save a lot of money, bro. I save like I don't want to say the number, man. Just a portion, <laughs> okay. a portion, a small portion of my paycheck. And um, it's it's not enough uh, to even even if I do get a family, bro. I'm not I'm not making enough for the family, man. I'm not. 
I'm does, not ready uh, for it. I think, does, does their huh? ethnicity matter? Does their race matter? Uh, no, but I think it does play a big part of the culture. I think the culture is what it is, what's going to kind of, uh, you know, have the relation to relate with your other. Yeah. Uh, because a good example, man, uh, my, my ex, my recent ex, uh, we kind of have a, a cultural difference, man. She's kind of old school, traditional, which I love about her, which I love. But she, she listened to music that I didn't li- listen to. Um, she had a whole like life that I never really touched base on on her culture uh, because she had a whole different language, you know. So yeah. we had to kind of build our own life together. Um, and that was kind of the difference too. Um, the music that I listen to, she don't like. I, listen, I don't like her music. So <laughs> it's just kind of a whack. lot of... Um, <laughs> we, we both like Justin Bieber though. Justin Bieber oh, is, there you is go. good. Yeah. Um, but I, th- I think uh, at the end of the day... Uh, someone that's uh willing to work with you you know i've i've learned that um uh, the hard way uh someone to just learn with you man i think that's that's the key to a relationship it's just working together and able to accept the differences cool, dude. um but man it's so hard dude i was on a, a dating app uh hinge man i was on hinge dude all the girls that i've been swiping left on okay okay I, i'll be honest with you dude all the girls on hinge they look like they do need somebody in their lives. I mean, I'm not saying they're not like they're like averaging fives out of tens, you know, <laughs> like averaging, dude. Um, the bottom of the and, barrel, <laughs> <laughs> these are not quality people. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a, I mean, oh, I do have a shit. standard, but like, I do want somebody that's like kind of you know, oh, somewhat man. compatible with me, you know. That's hilarious. Dude. Um, I did see this one chick out of like maybe 20, 50 swipes. There's this one chick that was a uh, counselor at a, at a middle school. Oh, nice. Now I was like, yo, she's pretty decent. Like yeah. pretty decent looking. She's like education, educational. She's graduated. So uh, I'm like, all right. So I sent her a like, man. I was, I'm still waiting for a reply, but nothing, dude. You know, 20 other dudes are on her. <laughs> Uh, so I so I did a, a a test too where um I had a I signed up as as a girl on on the app. Oh boy, bro! I get all the likes in the world, man. I get likes from all sorts of different faces yeah. from dudes, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. And it's so overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like damn, like good times, dude. I remember I remember uh, plenty of fish is uh, was what I used. And I would just like bam, 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 <laughs> swipe, 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 swipe. Yeah, yeah. Just increase odds. It's an odds game, dude. That's all it was, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh. It's, I don't like dating. I don't know, man. I feel like it's not going to work for me. I feel like it has to be something in person that I have to go and, yeah. and meet up yeah. and do it, you know? 100%, dude. And, I mean, I mean, yeah. you, you, you kind of mentioned it. And, and when I remember, you know, when I was on it. Um, the quality of, of, of people that are on those kind of apps, you know, um, I, I got to meet some of them and it's just kind of like, yeah, they ain't, they ain't really doing much with their lives, you know? And then, so I, I, I hopped off and met people, you know, the original way in person, right? Going to events and stuff and just bumping into people and, and introducing yourself. So, um, how much do you think you're going to, you, cool, cool. Here, here's the thing too, right? I've I've decided to quit drinking, okay. so I think that's going to be a huge step into, you know, going to this whole social thing. Because I believed drinking was part of my social life. You know, going out and you know, I I had to get a drink to loosen up and and, and to talk to people, right? Yeah. So giving that up, I, I think, is also a big like fear that I have to step over. You know, a big lump because yeah. like, um. So here's the thing too. I think drinking has also like stolen from me, because now the only way for me to socialize is to drink, right? Yeah. And now that's a, a part that that's been stolen from me from growing up. Like I've I've always known to socialize and I drink, but now to go back and relearn how to socialize without drinking is going to be a challenge. And this is kind of where like this fear kind of comes from, right? Like how how what do I say? you know what i mean like what i start a conversation and um because i feel like i do have a lot of filter in my in myself so like when i was when i was drinking i don't have that kind of filter 
so it's tough man um i haven't gone to a dating like e event yet so we'll see how it goes i think you know uh, you know i there's um i think like that that's uh i remember somewhere maybe in a podcast or something bullshit like that but um you know that 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 can actually be a uh um work that that can probably work to your advantage right you go out to the bars but you don't yeah. drink. You, you buy you know women drinks and then you say oh you know i don't drink you know uh so you have yourself a, a water or a coke or uh whatever the fuck you want to drink right sparkling water if they yeah. if they have it that's classy um, but um water water and ice yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Right. but but the idea right is that uh that can be a talking point right like, oh you know actually i quit drinking um because I felt like it hindered me um, socially, or, or you know, whatever the fuck you want to say, right? Um, yeah. And and, and so still be reliant on it. Yeah. Yeah. Still, still be a gentleman, and that that's an opportunity for you to connect with somebody, right? You know, to to open up and say, hey, you know, actually, I don't drink. My name is Frankie, and I thought you were interested. Can I buy you a drink? So I think so, and not, not to like you know degrade anybody or look down to people who do drink. Is that it's the fact that whenever you do drink, you basically dumb down, because that's 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 the really bad way to say it. Dumb up, you dumb up. That's what, that's what it is. <laughs> because uh, anything, if you're drunk and the other person's uh, drunk, anything that you say is entertaining. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, it's not beneficial um to for me like another if you really look at drinking it's it's not beneficial in the long run it costs a lot of money you get hangovers and you don't have a, a genuine conversation about your future or your life because like if you start drinking with people who drink only and you only time you conversate is when you drink yeah. they're always going to be those kind of people is you whenever you want to drink and party those are the people you hang out with yeah, I, you know, I, 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 I want to add to that, life. man. Like, like, like for me, you know, why, why I stopped drinking is like I had a, a dependency on that piece, right? For me to be social with people, I, you know, I had to have that alcohol to, to alleviate myself from that anxiety, you know? And then, and then during all that time of, you know, um, trying to be social, you know, I had to be social while I, I was drinking. I never really made a, a real deep connection with with anybody you know i mean i met a lot of people in my life um you know in, in these past 10 years you know um I, but but no real connections to that that were grounded on anything you know other than the fact that we're at a bar or at a house party or something like that you know so i think there's truth to that if 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 you aren't able to if you're the kind of person who can't make connections outside of drinking you know then then i would I, I personally stayed away from from drinking because of you know not not because of that but but that's one of the reasons yeah uh, yeah i i agree it kind of like uh like like smoking weed you know what i mean like i used to smoke weed a lot i mean all my relationships most of my relationships came from weed you know it was just like a social thing right yeah. and like and and now i know i think about it man uh it was it's cool to meet you it's cool we had a great time but it was just like we always smoked together and talked about nonsense and talked about our dreams but never really accomplished them and it kind of it hurted more than than the build-up you know because like you know there, there are times that we didn't smoke weed uh, those are great times too um but i think overall like it just was not as meaningful yeah so yeah i've decided not to um drink and smoke um but i think i'm still gonna do uh cocaine <laughs> yeah but i think i'm still gonna do meth <laughs> uh, and i was like that's I the other option that, right if i, I can't that, smoke though. and i can't drink can i at oh, least man. do some coke i knew that joke was gonna come up i knew that joke was gonna come up oh that's hilarious dude <laughs> Um, I really thought about it. Bro. I was like, "Damn, man, I can't do those things." But um, what what can I do? <laughs> See, um, some ayahuasca, cause some of that tree frog. Oh, uh, dude, I I actually really want to go and and do ayahuasca because yeah. I think that's gonna. I want to do it uh, the proper way. Do you way think it's true that men because I I did do DMT, which is similar to ayahuasca, but uh, I want to do it the proper way with the right mindset going in. 
um, I mean, sometime in 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 a couple of years, to be honest. You you remember uh, remember JD? Oh yeah yeah yeah. He uh he he kind of like was a, a coach that no coaches way. people yeah and hosts um these healing oh, ceremonies. That's so cool, dude. Yeah. Congrats to him. Um, that's cool, dude. Okay, it's, uh, I had to tell you this is thing called um they they practice it's kind of like ayahuasca so what ayahuasca is like dmt technically it's just basically um build up melatonin and you basically release it in in, in like a spiritual way um and this is guy you can release it through breathing practices and it was it was nice. really interesting um and uh, i i'll send you a video i think oh, you know next time we should watch a video about that um it's really interesting um and he he's making a business out of it because there's a lot of truth behind this uh this healing this inner healing yeah um but yeah dude I, ayahuasca man definitely want to do it Whew. um but yeah, man, how's 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 everything going with you man how's how's work how is your work balance um how it's uh dude I, I haven't been to work since uh the baby's been born dude Oh uh, what? I didn't know that. I thought you was you was you are you are you on a PTO right now? Yes. Uh, uh FMLAs is what it is. What, what, what family, does that mean? Is that family medical leave of absence? Oh it's, hell uh, yeah, dude. it's by law. Is it for like a month? Yeah. It's by, by law, month. huh? Yeah. If if I wanted it's to for take, a month? Yeah. If I if I want to take off then I can. Damn for, dude. For, for um family emergencies. I need some of that. I need some of that. Yeah, join the club. Um, All right, so let's let's dig into this uh, video. This video. Uh, let's dig into your your segment. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's get into it, man. Okay. Cool. This is gonna be fun. All right. You see the video? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch it right now. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Here we go. Do you think it's true that men will insult each other and not mean it, while women will compliment each other and not mean it? Yes. Yeah. So would that mean that men have more genuine friendships than women? I think men do have more genuine friendships. Yes, very much. Because like I said, women are haters. So as a woman walks off, she's going to find something wrong with her. Men are more nonchalant than girls, and girls take everything to heart. So like, if we were to be like, oh, like your shorts are a little too short or something like that, they'd be like, wow, so you think I'm a hoe? Guys will insult each other day on day, and they'll just joke about it. Girls will obviously like compliment each other and not mean it. It's like the meanest thing that they could possibly say but it's in the nicest way and guys will never understand it nice what do you think true yeah, dude, or that's, not true that's 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 a hundred percent dude that's just that's in our biology how we communicate as guys is that like when you connect with another dude you know what i'm saying then you can talk all kinds of crazy shit and then and you'll be able to find some kind of connection most, most connection and once you once you do connect, you know you you build a a bond, a brotherhood, you know. So I think it's cool. okay. Or or even if you yeah. don't, if you, even if you don't have like a um like a connection with with another dude, you, you know, it's it's kind of communicated that hey, we're cool, you know, unless unless one of the, unless someone wants to try to start something, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, if you're just out walking up out and about, you know, um, a guy can probably find some some way to connect you know for me anyways it's, it's been easier to connect with dudes than than chicks uh in the workplace in a professional environment or in a social environment so i think why do you feel that way versus connecting with chicks do you feel like if you were talking to a chick do you feel like it's like flirtatious or something i think that's, like, that's definitely you... in my head dude like like dude i ain't like when i was single i was always just trying to fuck <laughs> so find my way in but you know, when 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 I wasn't in that mindset, you know, like trying to just kind of connect with um, the opposite gender, you know, or the opposite sex, it was just it was just kind of weird. It's, it's just it's just like what what's there to talk about? You know what I'm saying? You know, but interesting. Oh, uh, that's cool, man. Because I think, um, yeah, you gotta you gotta find a topic to talk about, right? I think because uh, I think when I do, whenever I do talk to girls here, it's always like about like film or like because. Either they're a model or or actress, so you find a way. To, how do how do I benefit from from you? Um, yeah, that's just that's true. That's true. Always trying to find ways to connect and topics to talk about and to relate because uh, it is human psychology. Like 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 for me, right to kind of um, 
to kind of go off what you're saying, right? If, if it is, you know, some type of uh, connection with a woman, it's, for me anyways, it, it's, it's work-related, you know? It's professional related. I mean, it's nothing leisurely. What, what the hell are we gonna talk about? Games? You know what I'm saying? Like, possibly, yeah. The girls are into games too nowadays. Dude, very, very fucking rare, dude. Uh, well, for me, anyways, and 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 with with dudes, I can I can be more casual and talk about you know bullshit. But it's just different for for me, man. I, I think I think for most guys too, it's it's just because like what the fuck are you gonna talk about makeup? I, I'm not into makeup, you know. I I don't know. I. Unless it's work related, then it's just kind of like, oh, okay, great, a middle ground, you know? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think that's with any conversation, right? Finding the middle ground of the how do you how do we lay how do we talk about something and like, is there something in common that you know that we can talk about? Give me give me three shots, man, <laughs> and then and then we can talk about anything. <laughs> That's that's yeah yeah it's with true, a man. guy or a girl, nah. <laughs> I'll make it happen, dude. Three, four shots uh, all night, dude. We talk and talk our heads off. That's you funny, know? bro. <laughs> that's true, man. Uh, when when you're tipsy, bro, oh, you can talk about anything and everything, man. That's hilarious. Anything is interesting. Everything is interesting, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. For uh, I think I think I think it's true too, man. How the how the video is that you know men do insult each other. I think there's, I think there's, there's a fine line to it, right? And where, and when you start making fun of people, because you can come in as a bully coming in, or you can come as too much of a victim going in. Uh, what I mean by that is that, like, um, you know, I, I'm, I, the reason why I say this is because I feel like I can relate to this in a way where, like, I could take it wrong, where like an insult could be more like, oh fuck, are you trying to like challenge me or degrade me or whatever it may be right yeah so it, it depends right so i think at the end of the day is depending how competent that person is because if there's two competent person that are insulting each other and it's like a jokey way then yeah it, it makes sense you know but if there's one that's um, a little more sensitive and a person that's too competent or it, it can go sideways and that's kind of where i feel like sometimes it doesn't work out I tell you this one, this, uh, this one time uh, when we were at the bar, I think let I forgot what that place is called uh, back in Tulsa. That that one country club, Legends, I think it was. I, the I rodeo. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. the rodeo. Red rodeo was it? Yeah, I forgot. rodeo. This rodeo, the rodeo is a Mexican one. <laughs> Legend was the one downtown. There you go. Yeah, Legends. But uh, this is one time right where we split up, and then uh, we we're all just kind of faded. But I remember, I remember um, there's a. Uh, you know, a chick with uh, with her friend, right? Just kind of on the side. I was I was trying to get a water, right? And then uh, a dude, you know, two, cause like I was in the middle, right? A dude just kind of off to the side. The two chicks over here, and I'm like, oh, dude. I was like, hey man, let's go talk to them, <laughs> right? Right. So I was trying to make a friend, and then also trying to have a good time, and then he was just kind of trying to shit on me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> People like this out here, man. I was just like. I was like, and then I turned to the chicks. He doesn't know how to have fun. And then I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man. So there are there are those times where like, you know, a dude and the like that interaction was just kind of like weird, you know? Like there's Yeah, a, I, yeah. There's I a, think those uh, people they're they're definitely like afraid. They're like they're like, oh shit, this guy's gonna take my girls <sighs> and they're gonna, you know, try to attack. You know, it, it we're, we're animals, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the truth. We're all animals, yeah. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, but that was that was a weird encounter that that I will remember for a very long time. <laughs> I think I think I remember you telling me about that about that too, dude. Um, Should I have a good time? No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, you making want- fun of each other is 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 definitely gonna build a a strong good relationship because that kind of takes away the the negative. You know what I mean? I, well, you know, you, you you know, it's kind of like instinctually, you know what I'm saying? You know when somebody's playfully, you know, just dogging on you just to crack jokes, you know what I'm saying? There's people who are dogging on you aggressively as an aggressor, you know? I mean, like you said, like a bully, you know? And you how do you feel these how do you know? Like, can, can you give me some examples? Because, like, so then people can know? How do you uh, know what's, what's paid for, what's not paid for? So, okay, here's an example, right? Uh, it was you and me. We went to go gas up, right? It was a, 
you know, uh, night, night, night in the town, right? We went to go gas up. There's a group of, you know, white dudes just kind of like in another gas pump over, right? And they say, oh, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chow, or I, I forgot what that. I forgot what that Asian character was, but but that's what he said, right? Yeah. And then you didn't take you didn't take kindly to that, and I forgot what you said, but I was out of it. But I, I remember that altercation, right? And then that's where it was kind of like race related, and then it was just kind of like eh, we that's not cool with us, and and so you know that that would be I think an example of um, just I don't remember that, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of nights we probably don't remember, <laughs> <laughs> but um. But the, you know something like that, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. So. What What would they say to make it more of a t like more of a, you know, a better encounter than, and still know. be like an insult in in a way. Uh, you, you know, you probably, I think, I think this was when you had the the R sex. Um, they could have said something about your car, and we could have said something about their truck or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but it was okay. It was race. So. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. So there's a fine line to it. I think. It, I think if it's like categorized to like race, then that's different versus, uh, like, a, a, yeah, like your car, right? I think. Like, hey, man, like, which guy in that in that engine, like, that race. That <laughs> okay, yeah. right. Okay, that were that's that's still kind of racist too, though. Um, oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. If it's like, if it's more like, um, hey, uh, you got like, you know, your tires are worn out, dude. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's less of an insult and going in, but still in insulting. Yeah, My less God. in definite not racial. Um, that's hilarious. But yeah, man. Um, shit, man. All it right, is what it is. All right, let's uh, let's check out this next video. You see it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, you have this yeah, rock man, yeah. bottom. Okay. That's the way up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rock bottom is beautiful. The struggle of, the struggle of coming back, is beautiful. That struggle. I, you know, it's hard. It, it doesn't appear like it's beautiful mm. while you're going through it, but it's just being, it's just being tested. And without a test, there's no testimony. What do you think about that, that quote, man? Mm, I, I gotta watch that again. No, no, you have to hit rock bottom. That's the way up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rock bottom is beautiful. The struggle of, the struggle of coming back, is beautiful. That struggle. I, you know, it's hard. It, it doesn't appear like it's beautiful mm. while you're going through it, but it's just being, it's just being tested. And without a test, there's no testimony. Interesting. What do you think? Is that BS? I think uh, I think there's some well well you know that's Mike Tyson if uh, if you don't know you've been living under a rock uh, and the first thing you saw was this this live stream I'm gonna let you know that's Mike Tyson um, but you know like like um, you know his perspective right is because he he used to be so glorified and then and then you know yeah he, he yeah hella, he top hella dog up, yeah he hella fucked up his life and then. Now he's he's kind of on a on a climb right now, you know, and uh, went to prison, love prison, yeah. and and so like he talks about hitting rock bottom. I think um, I think there's uh well because like he says you know when you hit rock bottom and then climbing out of that you know piece and and that being a testimony. I think um, Matt, I think there's there's a lot more to that video, obviously. Uh, that I think would have been a, a dope, uh, dope thing to watch. But I, I think so. I'm gonna give my just kind of my my spiel on it. Is like, you know, when you because because like, you know, our grandparents, our parents, you know, they've come a long way to give us the life that we have now, right? You know, so they've they've come from a you know a shittier place, right? Economically and healthcare wise, right? They've come from a different place, and, and just that time period too, right? the 70s versus you know the time that we live in today right so very prosperous here in the west um and then so so what's our rock bottom right my kids rock bottom is they born with a tablet in their hand and everything you know is handed to them um they have ice cream they have candy they have you know all the technology all the bullshit they want at the at, at their fingertips that's their rock bottom right that's that's their the lowest point in their life right now you know 
versus and, and that's that's you know our parents you know couldn't have even fathom you know having what we have today right so so when we when you when he's talking about like having to climb out of rock bottom you know like i think i think um i think that's a uh, a perspective right i mean because like you, you don't have to technically be in such a shitty place you know shitty or or maybe that is what he means right that you you come from such a hard life and to climb out of that you know you, you grow as as you're climbing out and and in and in that beautiful piece he talks about that that testimony of you know being in a better place because of you know what you had to go through you know or grow through right so i think um i think i think that's kind of you know you know uh um what i'm going through um or, or not not so much what i'm going through but just kind of what i'm appreciating about my life is just you know my grandparents and my parents and and um, that's why legacy is so important for me is because of me, us as a family, you know, where we're going, where we've come from, you know. Hey, hey, chap. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the live stream. Mr. Chap, chap. Is your mic? Um, oh, what the fuck? Oh, is my so um, how, how I think um, on that video is that like for Mike Tyson uh, to say that is like, you know, there's always going to be struggles, man. Um, the rock bottom, bro. Like, enjoy the fucking rock bottom, cause it's it's beautiful. You know, I think people look at it as like it's a tragic. Like, I'm hitting rock bottom. I mean, it, it may feel like at the end of the world, but truthfully, man, getting out from the rock bottom is is it is gorgeous. You know, you you see yourself grow. You see yourself push on things that you shouldn't be pushing on, and that's that's uh that's why i got out of it man it's the message is like like you're always going to struggle especially if you want to be better as a person and, and try to do better once you hit rock bottom that's when you push the most that's when you put it in your turbo and you press on that fucking nos button you know that and you fucking go further um yeah man um the rock bottom dude it's uh it's a beautiful place man uh i think um <clears throat> good example man today was uh my 100th day of taking cold showers man it's the end of the first series so like during the whole process but even the first day man i remember just like not wanting to do it you know like man what am i doing i don't want to do this but the reward to it to ending it is is so beautiful dude. it's like fuck dude I really did a hundred days of just taking cold showers every single day, and the the beauty, the struggle to it, bro. Like I, I cherish it so much more, uh, and and it it's just, it was it was a beautiful journey that I, that I went to, and and I've definitely changed a lot from that moment from from here. And I don't think I'm gonna like I can survive without doing cold showers now. Like I have to do cold showers. I've actually had nightmares about not doing it, and like man, I haven't taken my cold shower yet. My day is shitty. I missed the day. Like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, and I've definitely trained my mind to to you know, love the cold shower, embrace the cold shower, and cool, like dude. honestly, man, it it's a shift of mind, dude. Um, yeah. You've already done the worst thing a part of the day already. You already you know went through hell already, so you might as well just enjoy the day. Like anything that's bad can't even be as bad as taking yeah. cold showers. That's how I looked at it, you know. Cool. Um, but yeah, man, hitting rock bottom uh, is a beautiful thing. And uh, I don't think I've hit rock bottom yet. I feel like I've hit, like, this season's rock bottom. But this could be the next season that we're going to be hitting rock bottom. Now, so. the, the the low points in my life were all created by me. <laughs> Here's my parents. Yeah, I did. My grandparents lifted me up high. And I'm just like, nah, I'm going to jump off from this luxury. <laughs> and sometimes it's breaking Fuck myself up. over. <laughs> That's good, dude. I think I think that's a beautiful thing to, f to fuck yourself over, <laughs> man. Because um, the only way up is up, man. Yeah, you know, it's a learning process. Sometimes you can't be handed, you know, the keys to the city. Sometimes you have to work for it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, yeah. Yeah, you um, you know, it's people who do realize that you do need that to was, get out from that. And that was work. traumatizing as fuck, man. I w I would never fucking go do that again. <laughs> I don't wish that for my kids, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> um, sometimes it's good, man. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes the negative oh, balances oh. out the positive, man. Oh, um, God damn. 
But yeah, dude, um, I'd, I'd rather be like this than be spoiled, man. Because I think um, being spoiled, I mean, I'm in my comfort zone, dude. I'm, I, I'm not unwilling to do things. And I know it too, man. Um, and once I see myself getting comfortable again, dude, like I try to just get the hell out of there ASAP. You know? Um, but yeah, man, let's go on to the next segment. You got, you got yours? Yeah. <clears throat> Philip Chad, welcome to the... Uh, to the chat man you're gonna enjoy peter's segment yeah what's up what's up boys we're gonna watch the video oh okay what the f you know the, the the jews in the yiddish language there's this word fargin mm. it's a beautiful word yes they they come at it differently but this word fargin here's what it means it means that if we are in a community and you're doing something yeah even if somebody outside the community can do it better, cheaper, and faster, we buy from you. And when you get it wrong, we come to you. Mm -hmm. Say so you got this, this, this wrong, fix it. Then we buy again. That's us. It's called Fargin. The reason that's important mm -hmm. is because now you've got to understand our psychology. So what do we do? You start something and you sell. We buy it. Mm -hmm. Then we go on social media and go. Footy pugi lelenta sebens no sebens. Sure. Bega trabang utwenza. Foot na la mate iwa ki manamo shega fast. Yeah. Yeah. Foot na lo gut la wa kaksim na ande nega tora unnecessary. Then the, we are then with the same people that go. But why is black wealth not growing? Sure. Right. Interesting. Man. That's why the Jews are fucking rich as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, dude. You know, you know, here in LA, there's a, there's literally a city devoted to Jews. Yeah. 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 There's actually a couple of cities, but there's like one main one that's just all Jews and, and, and they have their own restaurants. Uh, they're actually really nice people. Yep. They're more, they remind me of like, uh, like Eastern people. They're like, they're not nice, but they're kind. They're like, they'll fucking yell at you, but they're like, do you fucking need help? Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they might be like, you know, like Eastern, uh, like we need New Yorkers. You know, they're not nice, but they're very kind people. Yeah, man. What's your what's, um, your, t what's your take, chap? Unless unless you got more stuff to say, Frankie. Uh, well, if, if chap uh, can go. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's true. Like I actually talked about this with my coworkers. Like, uh, I I can only say like Black Americans. They, they basically selfish. They're to themselves now, and they're not like, uh, they're not like wanting to, you know, support themselves anymore. Not when I say themselves, I mean like their community, like how Asians, you know, how Asians and Mexicans, uh, they be living together until they with like multi-family homes and then once that that family pays off the house they buy the next house and then they all they all live together and then just keep buying houses and growing from there you know oh, it's yeah. not like that yeah uh it's not like that any for black americans because like you know what they had to go through over here with like slavery and just fighting for themselves you know so, like, we were raised, you know, together. The majority of, like, Asian culture, uh, Mexican, uh, basically almost every other culture, they were raised to be together. Like, when you see people click up, they click up. Like, it's an like, Asian click up, Mexican click up, you know? Yeah. Right. Like, that, com that basically camaraderie and uh, willing to help uh, your fellow man, you know? I think I think I believe I believe um, I blame on society because the American society because the fact that you know it's like oh you're 18 years old if you want independence you can go out and live by your, by your own means versus like obviously staying with the parents and saving more money and buying a house is more ideal but in reality they convinced this like oh you got to be independent and like you want your own privacy you want to do your own thing you want to do your own parties 
you can go buy your, you know spend that money instead of doing that is go spend it on your own life but then still be really broke and that's mm-hmm. the american culture that's why nobody is able to save up money because in, in in the jewels or the, the old culture like they do do that you know they do save up money living together and they do go and and uh buy houses and you know combine money but nowadays it's just like oh everyone's so independent that everyone's broke because they're yeah. so independent yeah. you know yeah. so i've been I, I blame the culture man the american culture because you know well, they're doing it right man look at but like you know for black wall street you know over here in tulsa everything was thriving for black wall street until like and they supported their community and did that and stuff but it got t- tore down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, by, a, was, bunch, by, by a bunch of racist people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's by a bunch of white people. Uh, <laughs> and then I think that's like the stigma, like, because if you build something together, they're just going to, I think deep inside, they're like, someone's going to tear it down. So if you do, if you do for yourself, it's a couple, like, now they're competing against each other. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's like who has to have the best. You know, media, like yeah, exactly, media, social media, and everything influence. Oh, I gotta have the best stuff, you know, for myself. You know what I'm saying? Well, well I think that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna chime in, right? So I think you know, yeah. I, I really like this, you know, concept of of just combining our economic resources to build our own community up. You know, um, yeah. And 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 that takes a lot of you know good leadership with good intent. Uh, because some people aren't just, you know, most people aren't gifted with leadership and most people, you know, don't have the greatest ideas, you know. So, so I think that's, that's, that's a challenge. But I think the idea of, of uh, the culture being committed to growing, I think that's very important. I think that's, that's how something like that can happen is if everybody's not, you know, bullshitting or slacking off, you know, making excuses and bullshit like that. Then, then, then that kind of concept is not going to work, right? But if everybody's on the same page of, you know, I am not the smartest motherfucker on planet Earth, but I'm going to do, you know, what I can, what I can yeah. you know, and I'm going to continue, contribute, yeah. continue, yeah, contribute and to continue mm-hmm. to, to do this for my community, right? Yeah. And so if we keep our finances, right, within that community, then that's, it's just only going to compound, right? Especially mm-hmm. when you incorporate uh, buying assets right starting a business and getting money from outside our community bring it in and just feeding that animal right then then you can do beautiful things like a family right just 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 within a family like um you you can you can create wealth and i think oh yeah definitely i think that and then but but it's it's because of i think frankie mentioned it right is our society is all about keeping up with the jones competing against each other right um and 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 with that mentality you know materialism and 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 all that bullshit right you mentioned it too right black wall street oh you know people somebody's gonna somebody somebody's gonna come after us right so there's no really point to it but so so there's all these things all these obstacles to overcome before you can even really start something like that but but man if 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 friends can you know even come together family can come together and, and, and join like, forces, uh, man. You change. That's like you know, Victor. You know, Victor Austin and I. We bought a house together. Yeah. And we just like calculated everything, like because yeah. I stayed with Austin for like uh, three years, and we calculated the cost of owning an apartment. Yeah. For that time, we could have been bought a house. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, dude. That's an example uh, like, of, of, of that term for again, you know, it's just collaborating and, and working together yeah. to make it make something happen, you know. So, so like during that time we spent fifty four thousand dollars just on apartment. Fifty hundred dollars oh, on apartment. Without without the garages we had. We had like three garages. Uh so, shit. So yeah, it's just uh I think uh the more we we grew, uh, the more that time passes, it gets better for for us. It's called uh, maturing, Philip. That's what it's called. It's called uh, maturing. Not not <laughs> nothing, just us in general, but like for us to build uh, 
gener ger generational wealth yeah. as well. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? One hundred percent, dude. You um, said it. Like, uh, that's why you know. That's why Victor and I we we link up really well. Yeah. And we we just have a plan. This is what we're gonna do. We 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 do it like our ancestors. You know, like live together, build each other up. And then uh, grow from grow from this house, move from this house, sell it, because we already have equity in this house. And then uh, move to a bigger house with a shop, and then you know. Yeah. Well, you guys uh, moved to uh, another house. Uh, I'm still at the same house that we we bought. Yeah. But uh, we're eventually gonna move from here because it's uh it's building up a lot of equity. Like we're, we're we bought this house like for a hundred and sixty. Now it's at like two twenty five, I think. Yeah. So it just in that short period of time it, while a was growing. Uh, yeah, that then you know the point that you make, man. I think there's the internal battles that we have to recognize too, because like you know, Victor is a very generous honest person yes. so yeah. finding people like that is, very, is very hard, hard. Yeah. yeah so like a trustworthy person because like you know it's easier said than done right because yeah. it has to be very selective people for you to go in all in with uh, with a friend oh yeah yeah for sure but uh you have to you know like find that person regardless if it's your family member or your friend you know if you if you have a plan and you they're down and you're down to make sacrifices oh yeah dude. that's why like for for me my kids man they they have no choice it's whatever dad says <laughs> well you're gonna get married one day you're gonna bring them into <laughs> you know <laughs> like like you know because uh like a lot of people just trust me with uh the plan and not to execute you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah and, People who trust me, they're just a lot for the ride, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. But but man, you know, and and I just I just I just like this concept very much. I mean I mean, cause like for me a legacy is a big thing. And then just trying to instill, you know, family in, into my kids, you know, head that hey, you know, we have to work together and combine, you know, our efforts and our strengths and our intentions so that way we can continue to create um you know like what you said Philip, generational wealth you know um, because it's not it's not just monetary but it's it's um or, or yeah it's just it's not monetary it's not just financially but it's it's mindset too yeah. um so but yeah man that's uh that's one of my videos and then uh let me pull up a next one i think i think uh i think you're gonna like this one frankie um It's it's gonna be hard to hard to understand because they have a, I think um an accent Australian accent or maybe a British accent but but um here we go. She locked me in the flat one day. She locked and, you in the flat. Yeah, she locked me in the flat. Obviously, me being angry, I didn't know the door was locked. I've gone over, I've grabbed the door handle, pulled it, and it's come straight off in my hands. So we're stuck on a three-story bal, a uh, three-story flat, and I've had to jump off a three-story balcony. I ripped all my back, open, all my back, all my legs. The lot, and I ended up in hospital, you know, because she won't let me out of the house. It's not funny though. Uh, Can I tell you why it's not funny? I don't want to upset maybe. any of the audience because I completely appreciate the fact that you're here. But I tell you why I don't think you should laugh. If this was the other way around and a woman was sat here and a bloke had locked her in a flat and she had to jump out and injured herself, you lot would not be laughing. You would be saying, he's a complete nightmare. He should be locked up and that's disgraceful. But somehow, if it happens to a bloke, that's funny. That's not funny, is it? That is it. Okay, okay. Did you guys understand that? Yeah. You told a story about being locked out of his flat three stories high. Yeah. And the door handle broke. So he, or well, she locked him of the flat. Yeah. While he was three stories high. Yeah. So he was walking in the balcony. Yeah. Man, he had a yeah. he, he had to jump off to. Domestic uh, abuse. Did you double. did you get did you get that, Frankie? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a uh, double standard. Yeah, um, you know. So, it's it sucks, man. It's true too, man. It, uh, I mean, that girl looked fucking psychotic. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, she looked like she about to pop out and just like beat his ass already. I was like, <laughs> damn, bro. Like she she's been um starving his ass. You can you can tell. Yeah, she's been yeah, eating yeah, everything yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I feel the but, pain, dude. It's, a, it's like the stigma that people have on male. Yeah. Uh, that they're supposed to be strong and yada yada yada, but you know that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should be tricky, treated equal. Yeah. You know, uh, especially like for instance, uh, we have in America they favor females to uh, when they when a, a when a male and a female get divorced are. They the courts favor the female to take care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When okay. I so, so I, th- I, th- I think that's I think that's kind of reasonable too, because like um, I mean it's it's we're looking at like the biology, right? Because like you know women are more like you know, no, no. Na- na- so, more nutrient, nature yeah. for uh, for the kids, and they're okay. uh, more like, compatible. Sometimes that that is true, but I mean, at the end of the day, the kids. They still need their. It's like it should always be fifty-fifty. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't go one way. I know I have. I, I, when I brought when I brought that up because in Oklahoma, like it doesn't matter what it, it doesn't matter what she does. She could be a crackhead and then she still wins the case. And that's true in Oklahoma, and that's true a lot of times. The male will never win the case. I mean, yeah, that's that's um, that's America to you, man. Um, yeah. And I mean, there there are signs that, like, you know, obviously, I do agree on some of the stuff, but obviously, there should be fifty fifty. But at the end of the day, like, if the mother is shown that she is a crackhead, I believe, I mean, it will definitely favor the the dad. But I mean, not all the time, because like, I have a lot of friends that are going through it right now. Damn. Multiple friends that are going through it right now. That I remember, I remember one of your homies that's going through that through a divorce, and like she cheated on him, and then he uh, she took the car and and, and at the end of the house. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. Damn. he's still going through it right now. Like awful, they gave her, they basically gave her everything. He didn't get half or anything. They basically get she. So he's taking it to uh, Supreme Court. Man. For that, yeah, I, I, I would, I would, shit, yeah. bro. She, she cheated and she got the house and the car, bro. I'm like, damn, yeah. bro, that's crazy, dog. Yeah. That's crazy. That's that right there. That's 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 not cool. That's that's insane. That that there. That's the setup that he was. He set himself up for disaster, dog. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. Is like, there's crazy bitches that are that are you know winning, you know, yeah, yeah exactly. who are starting yeah. shit, you know, what I'm saying and winning, you know, so <laughs> that's Western society, though. You know, you that's that's Dude. fucked up about the Western uh, society is that like women they they would do that and they, they do have that malice in them to to destroy a man's life and career, just you know, they're just because they lost. Just because they cheated, just because they want out, just because they're not having fun, just because they have don't have attention, they want to do that. That's that's it. It's not like oh, some, like he's like not some petty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's ridiculous, yeah. man. Like oh, I, I see this guy on Instagram, and I want to be with him. Like oh, yeah. you know, and yeah. I'm gonna divorce you so I can be with this guy for a couple months and then be sad forever. And then now I'm freaking old as fuck, and I don't know who to marry now. It's it's destroying everyone's lives, bro. It's 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 a problem, man. And yeah. go ahead, go ahead, Philip. It's just like a, it's just a big stigma, you know, yeah. that we have as men. Uh, you you know, like so so the reason why I chose this video too, right, is that like uh, uh, you mentioned it, Philip. You know, stigma. The stigma is that like the dudes, you know. In in uh, America are all evil. They're all fucked up. They're all you know raping women, and they're all you know misogynistic. And then raping, all... raping. <laughs> Great. I'll, bleep, I'll bleep that out when I when I edit this. <laughs> but um, but um, but what else? Was but so yeah, you know, men are men are looked at, you know, like monsters of our society. You know, and and granted, you know, there are some monsters, but and there's a lot of you know real decent people. Um, 
uh, real yeah. de- decent men out there. You know what I'm saying? And and I think guys don't get credit. Not only that, but the statistics and these, you know, um, um, you know, these statistics they don't they don't quite get the whole picture, right? Because you see here, you know, like like how many of these ca- type of cases are happening, you know, um, uh, all over America, right? Where the guys don't, you know, um, um, call cops about, you know, being being abused, right? Because mm-hmm. Yeah. Because um, either either physical abuse or mental abuse, right? Because that's abuse is abuse, and I think yeah. I think the the narrative is just you know men are the problem versus yeah. you know we should punish the the action versus the 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 genders, right? What's and, the solution to this uh, in, in your mind? What do you think? What, what's the, what's the solution that we could cult- culturally, man? I mean. It's it's so hard, dude, because it's more complicated than just a a one and done. Do this and it fixes everything. Uh, because I think, I think, I think if if family values right is is practice in a way where, you know, guys treat women with respect and and you know, but then there's pressure of society and and women have their own fucking agenda of of this this you know over glorified man he should be making a gajillion dollars and 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 whatnot and there's so there's there's just so much going on yeah so so i don't know quite the answer to that question frankie but i know that the narrative of or or the uh, conversation should be changed about domestic uh abuse right be about domestic abuse the action instead of the genders you know right like the uh ember heard and johnny depp um oh, yeah. situation yeah, that's that, that really proved a lot and that re- that's kind of where it all kind of started too like they're really the really t- tables has definitely turned yes. because of that because she fucking destroyed his life his career and um it came back and bite her in the ass man she's one of the most hated person in the world oh, well, she had to move she had to move <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah she's not in the u.s no more she, yeah, yeah. yeah i think i think she did she did move she did move yeah. she she owed like money she couldn't pay it um yeah. yeah yeah but yeah i'm telling you, man if she makes the only fans dude oh yeah you i'm know. telling you man the comeback i, I would pay <laughs> i would pay just to see some uh, uh i wouldn't <laughs> yeah. that's like that's the thing with men you know what i'm saying we 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 have our say and what we want to do and then but there's a lot of other men that are very thirsty <laughs> the simps, yeah. the simps of, uh, of our society. Oh my god! Here's the one, man. Man, men, men can fuck an enemy. You know, like if you if she if he hates you, he'll, he'll still want to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'll fuck anything, dog. <laughs> That's a disgusting thing about men. Oh man, it's so true that I don't want I don't want to talk about it anymore, man. Yeah. <laughs> we we it's go to wars. Devil. We it's go to wars, devil. man, for women. <laughs> Uh, oh my god uh, okay so so i'm gonna show you guys another video to add on top of uh the previous one okay right all right check this out so uh domestic abuse experiment uh here they had uh, a female abuse a man for about 30 to 45 seconds in public and then they oh, switched okay. it I think I see something like this. I didn't. I didn't text her. I didn't text her. I didn't text her, okay? I said I'm sorry. I didn't text her, I'm sorry, alright? Listen, I'm sorry, I didn't text her. I'm Kick him. Kick him. Listen to me. I'm tired of you hitting me. I'm a man. All right? I'm a man. I don't want you hitting me. 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 I don't want you hitting me anymore. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? 
Go away. She Go keeps away. telling me. Go away. Go away. She keeps telling me. Go away. I want my rights. That's huh? Freak out. You don't gotta stay. What's up? Leave. Leave. She hit you. Leave. Walk away from me. What are you gonna say to my head? Seriously, did you text last night? I looked through your text. Okay, so so you know that's how the video goes on. Um, Oof. Like that, I don't know, man. But Whoa. damn, cuz. Come on, man. That that. That wasn't the same path, you know what I'm saying? That's like two different he, two different he, things. He was he was, he, was he, like, he he took her down and slap her. <laughs> <laughs> he took a bitch down and slap her. <laughs> yeah, dude, he, he really played his part. <laughs> yeah. He he really has some pent up emotions. <laughs> Yeah. He got triggered. He really got triggered. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, dog! Hey, you're supposed to be acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's just like that's a lot. Oh shit, dog! That was good, man. But man, but, but, yeah. but like, how many of those scenarios, right? You think go on in America, right? Where, oh, yeah. where the dude, or let's say the dude don't fight back. You know what I'm saying? And he's just taking it, and then she's just dishing it. Happen, it, it, happen, it happens all the time. You oh know? yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's just how we embed it, man, because, like, men are supposed to be tough. I mean, and not that we're not, man. It's the fact that um, that's just how society is, dude. Like, it, it's a sad truth. Um, nobody, it's nobody, sickening, but... nobody, nobody gives a shit about dudes, man. It, that's, well, that's the wild thing. That, 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 that's, that's true, too. No, that's true. That yeah. test wasn't really fair. She but, did the but, same thing. But not, not even that, though, right? It's like, it's like abuse isn't cool, period. No, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if if it was her and then she, like she took him down and started slapping him like that, you know? I think it's gonna make any big Well that's where like uh that previous video, right? Where the chick was yeah. bigger than the the scrawnier dude and he had to jump out of a three story building, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then they laugh at that and then and then they laugh at this scenario too and they don't take take they don't take men abuse being abused seriously, you know? Yeah. So it, yeah, that's oh, true, man. It is that is true, bro. Um, I mean, just take the whole Johnny Depp thing too, man. Like nobody believed on uh, Johnny Depp. You know what I mean? And every every evidence in the world was shown in front of people, and nobody believed that Johnny Depp was the one that was getting abused. Yeah. And that's crazy, bro. That's the crazy, and that's just how society. That's why the whole Johnny Depp trial was so viral because now there's proof that Johnny Depp didn't lay any hands well, on her. I think and she was uh... all abused. Yeah, you should. No matter what, lot. you no matter you know, you know, no matter what, always have receipt. Receipts. Yeah. Yeah. Always have receipts. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, man. Nowadays you have to. It's yeah. sad, but it's true. You have to. You know. Yeah. Like if you write it down, take pictures, dude. Because if if it was the other way around, I swear to you, the girl will pull receipts. And she, she could say anything she wants, and a lot of everybody would believe her. You know, even even without receipts, man, she can take <laughs> yeah, it out. Yeah, without receipts, dude. No, no, yeah, 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 for sure. That's you, what I'm saying. Amber Heard, man. Amber Heard, you know, no receipts. Always, always have receipts. That's why guys need, yep, guys right. need to need the receipts, man. Yeah, you gotta have receipts. To protect yourself oh. first, first and foremost. You always man, have to protect this, yourself. this is such a this is such a wild conversation we're having right now. You know that guys have to really defend themselves in yeah. this way, you know. Dude, you could you could go to literally you could go to jail. Yeah. For nothing. For, for, for nothing. False accusation, man. Exactly. I mean there's plenty of men right now that are in prison because of that. Oh, yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. For They're sure. Accused. Yeah. And uh <clears throat> some you you like hear about those basketball players like um, she said that they uh they raped her. And then he went to jail for it, and then come to find out that she did it because yeah. she was just she was just mad that she that he didn't want to be with her. Yeah, that's some crazy shit, man. Um, there's 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 this story too where this uh this chick uh she uh has sex with a with a with a black man in her dorm, and they they recorded it, and her her dad found out. Oh, shit. And um, and she didn't want to admit that uh, she like agreed to, 
uh, oh, tap yeah. sex with him. And then um, she said it was a rape. And that Damn. went to hell. That went to hell. Yeah. She said she was in toxic and it was a rape. Ah, bro, man. Don't get set up, bro. No, no, no. Don't get set up. Even with again, uh, man. Jonathan uh, Mayer. You know, the guy, King the Conqueror. How that white girl tried to ruin him. Oh, boy. Yeah. Like, and nobody wants to work with him right now. You know, because of that accusation. That's tough, man. Yeah, don't date white girls. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only after I'm kidding. Yeah, but even then, <laughs> proceed with caution. Ah, oh, dude, that's it's rough. true. It's always it, it's always with a white girl. Oof. Is it? Is it? Yeah. What wrong? about Latinas? Latinas are pretty crazy too, man. Yeah, but they ain't gonna report you to the cops. Yeah, they they, they don't get their, their uncle on your ass. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> you don't get different. <laughs> yeah, you don't get jumped. <laughs> but dude, uh, dude, I think the root of all evil is sad to say this. If you think about it, no, is the root of all evil is not money; is white people. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's racist, dog. <laughs> that's not racist if it's oh, true. Oh shit, that's funny. If you think about it, <laughs> if you think about it, uh, I'm not gonna say anything much on top of that because that's uh, not gonna make it on the reels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll keep it on. We'll keep it here. <laughs> uh, that see. section is not gonna be promoted, but uh, my, uh, my face is blurred out. <laughs> but, at, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but at the end, at the end, David, at the end, they do like you know, guys. They are they guys are worthless, man. Uh, they don't they don't. You have to add value to yourself as a guy. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and as a dude, dude, if you don't make money, if you're not moving anything, uh, if you don't add value to yourself, then you really are worth for this. Yeah. And, and I think it was uh, I think it was Chris Rock who said uh, men are the 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 only one who are loved with condition that he provides and and some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. With condition, like, yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. most the two unconditional that would be love unconditional are, are women and dogs. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That's true, man. I wow. I believe that. In fact, um, once you once you start to realize that you need to build value to yourself as a dude, like. That would change your life because you you start to have a sense of pride in in your self work, and that would drive you to to be better, you know, um, and hold yourself to a certain standard to be better. Because if you don't have a standard for yourself, man, like if nobody else holds you to a standard, man, you're 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 pretty much well. That's fucked. that that's the thing too, man. It's like like I, I agree one hundred percent that men need to do better, but like like if life's great, right? The the saying is. Hard men make, um, uh, or, or yeah, hard, uh, hard times create, uh, hard men, hard men create good times and good times create weak men and weak men create, you know, hard times. Right. Easy and times so, or whatever. Right? Some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. About. The viewers know yeah. what I'm talking about. But then, yeah. but then that's the thing, right? Is that if life is great, everything's available to you, you know what I'm saying? Then what ambition is there left to do? Right. Conquer the world. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't feel like it because I feel like. Everything's already, you know, coming to me, right? If I want to yeah. eat out, I, I, I don't even have to fucking cook for myself. There's subscriptions to where, you know, they'll send me fucking food, right? Or I can go eat fast food or, or you know, if I want to watch a movie, I got, you know, this device, uh, the phone in the palm of my hand. If I, I do, I don't, I don't need to have sex with another woman. I got my hand, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's, there's, <laughs> you like that one, Philip? That one's for you, man. But, <laughs> but, um. But so so that's the thing, right? Where where like we're we're kind of in this dilemma of, you know, of of men need to do better, right? At the same time, men is shit is being shitted on, and and it's kind of like you know I I don't know I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the answer is, you know. Uh, don't pick toxic woman, man. I mean, pa- get a pa- get your passport, brother. Get your passport. You know your wife's overseas. <laughs> Stay single, you know. Fuck around. <laughs> I mean, that's that's not the solution to it. Uh, that is uh, a great way to uh, learn about yourself and grow. Uh, eventually, but, you're gonna want a, a family. Yeah, uh, I mean, 
you know, marriage in general is uh, that's a whole another. It's a trap. It's a whole. It's a trap for men, dude. It's a trap for men. Look at you lose half of everything, anyways. You know what I'm saying? Especially even yeah, even if she cheats, yeah, yeah. Even if you don't sign, like if you you gotta sign a prenup, bro, because marriage in the beginning was a you know it was a contract between family, you know. To grow their wealth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, arranged so, marriage and or, yeah, exactly. or marriage of families. That, yeah, yeah, marriage of families to grow their wealth. Uh, now we just do it for love, and you know, yeah. to, to me, um, it doesn't make sense to me to to be married anymore. Yeah. Why do? Why does? If you love somebody, why does it have? Why does, Why does the know, government have to be involved? Exactly. <laughs> is, I fucked up, dude. I, I made I made sure the government knew me and my wife together. <laughs> no, no, no. Because like, Fuck. it's it's like that though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why is the government involved? I and mean, why are you paying the government for a piece yeah. of paper? And when you divorce, it's why is it more expensive to divorce? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Dude. That to me, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Cool, man. Oh, we got three minutes left. Uh, any last words, gentlemen? Um, yeah, so we are going to be doing a uh, poker night. So anybody that wants to join poker, we are getting it on at 8 p.m., which is um, 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and 10 p.m. Central time, which is 30 minutes from now after the podcast ends and uh, yeah join us guys we're gonna have uh you know conversations that uh it's gonna make us better hopefully and we're just gonna so, so right now is right now we got uh, uh you me and then philip and then uh somebody else yeah yeah we got the homie is okay. gonna jump in too so okay so, so then we got, three, we got we got three more spots open for anybody who want to join um yes the discord link go to the bio of uh, whatever platform you're on, go to the bio, go to the Discord link, uh, or or send a direct message, man. We'll we'll give you the link. Cool. All right, all right. Well, yeah, that's that's the end of my my. Uh, well, I gotta say, great chat, guys. Great videos. Great um, man. I I enjoy this chat with you guys, man. It was very um, developmental. Uh, um, tune in next week, every week, guys. Every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific Standard Time. This is Make It Rain, signing out. See you guys. Peace out. Have All a right. good night. I'll see you guys poker night. All right, late. Let's get it.